Terrific shot, Horry. Terrific shot, mate. You deserve a beer after that. Yes. Take it, Horace. Ah, that's good. Thank you, Scotty. Here, have a light, mate. Thank you. Well, Horace, you've certainly made your contribution to the Lindrum legend. How did it all start? 138 years ago. Uh, the first Lindrum arrived in Australia in 1838 and became the first champion of Australia at billiards. Uh, the following member was also Fred Lindrum. He also won the championship of Australia. Then the third Lindrum became champion of Australia and in his younger days, of course, he was recognised as a world's champion. And then, of course, came the great Walter Lindrum, who was a legend in his own lifetime at the billiards game, and then myself. I first started off touring the whole of Australia and the country towns, where there used to be a man going down the main centres ringing a big brass bell hmm. to bring everybody out to come and see this young Horace Lindrum. This was the Boy Wonder Days? This was the Boy Wonder <laughs> Days. That's How old right. were you then, Horry? Uh, Eighteen. Eighteen. Eighteen, and uh, I found that I wasn't making any money, uh, you know, although I was doing it on a, a business-like basis. Uh, I wasn't going into billiard rooms and taking anybody down. Uh, and then I came back uh, to Melbourne and I had a telegram to say that uh, I was to go and play for the Australian Snooker Championship, which was contested in Sydney. What year was this? Uh, I was 19 then. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, what are we now, 1970? Th that's a long time ago. You okay. agree, confessing his age. Uh, against Frank uh, Smith, Jr. Uh, I won this, and of course this was in the Depression days, and it cost me 16 pounds to win the championship. Uh, and then I won the billiards title, the Australian billiards title, against my uh, eldest uncle, Fred Lindrum. Is that so? That's in 1932. And then I found that uh, I had to do a lot better than this, so once again I started touring the country towns and I was sleeping, sleeping on railway stations, horsebacking it and trucking it from one spot to another. So I decided to go to New Guinea in 1933. This was in the days when Errol Flynn but, uh, was also in the ter territory, yes. that's right. But that was the one spot that gave me enough finance to go to England. And I went over to England uh, thinking to myself, well, I'll stay six months. Uh, I made a hit with the English public and the press, and I stayed six years. And then from then on, I had 14 trips around the globe, Fantastic. having travelled to every spot and every corner of the earth, uh, promoting the game. What's the most important game, in your opinion, you've, had, you've played? I think uh, the game. well the hardest games have been uh, were against uh, Joe Davis who was a far more experienced man than I was in those days. I was very young. The greatest performance I think I put up was in 1937 uh, when I was leading on the Saturday afternoon and Joe just came up and beat me in the evening. Were you ever beaten for your world title, Horace? Uh, no, uh, Scotty. I relinquished all titles uh, as undefeated champion including the world's championships and the, um, and the Australian titles. I see on the certificate on this wall there, it's your 1,000th century. Yes. Uh, where does it take place? Uh, uh, well, that was made at the British Tobacco Pavilion at the Royal Easter Show. And is that, you were the first in the world to do this? Uh, publicly. This is from paid public um, performances. Mm -hmm. And these are all officially recognised as such. You yeah, must be very proud to be called a Lindrum. I am really, yes. Yes, and proud, of course, to have contributed a bit towards their great efforts. How do you feel now after investing 45 years of your life playing billiards and snooker? Well, I've had a, a, a wonderful life, Dennis. Uh, I've met um, the most interesting people throughout my lifetime uh, of all nationalities. I've been received very, very well by all. I felt that they've enjoyed my company and I must say that I enjoyed theirs.